I'm Elena Granato and uh, at the moment I'm studying for an art diploma, but previously I, I was a teacher. I've always loved diving, so I guess I've always kind of been interested in the water and interested in what you can see under the water. I've only been diving where there's coral reefs. The colour and the beauty is what appeals to me. The freedom and the beauty of the ocean is what inspired me. The idea of doing corals when I'm right next to the Red Sea just came as a natural project idea. Their forms are very organic and very interesting to study. The colours are very vibrant and they vary so much. So I think for the artistic process to have something beautiful to look at, but also the form to be beautiful to look at. So 70 to 90% of corals will disappear in the next 15 years. And for my children not to see the beauty of the ocean and the beauty of the coral, it's an overwhelming feeling of kind of sadness and what, what can we do about this problem? How can we help? I wanted to think if this were a real campaign, how could I reach the public and sort of put across the message of what's happening in our oceans and what's happening to our corals? Because it's all unseen, isn't it? So I felt like, how can you bring that up onto the surface so it's in people's faces, so people can talk about it through my art, creating dialogue and curiosity and inspiration around this issue that we really need to be thinking about and our human actions, how it can change what's happening down under our oceans. I'm hopeful that there's companies like Cordap and there's other big restoration charities and movements that's trying to make a difference. I'm hopeful that that figure of 70 to 90% of our coral reefs in the next 15 years will disappear will not be the truth.